So today we are going to be conquering Rancho. Today we're going to be taking down one of every single species on the map with a bow. I have the compound bow CB70 with me and I do have the recurve and all of the arrows. And that is a nice white tail. I'd be totally okay with him being our very first contestant. So where we are right now is bottom right of the map. This is a really great spot to keep a tent because it is super far away from civilization and very rocky running and all kinds of different animals drink at this lake. Now I think I took my white collar out of my inventory so that I could fit tents so I won't be calling any white tail in. I'm gonna have to sneak up to them but that's probably a good thing because when you call an animal over to you when you are bow hunting there is a much greater chance of it taking a step when you go to shoot and you muffing it up and that is not what we want so we're just gonna take our sweet time. Let me know in the comments what your absolute best trophy is from Rancho and let's go straight into it. All right, can't see them. I hate going in blind, so we're gonna go prone. Okay, we are 72 meters, and I don't even know if they're still there, but they definitely should be. Now, the big difference between using the compound bow and the recurve is first and foremost, with the compound bow, you're usually good to take a shot from about 60 meters, but with the recurve, you definitely wanna get a lot closer. 40 meters is a long shot with the recurve. You wanna get into about 30 or even 20 meters, and that's not always easy to do. So right now. Now I am prone on the slowest speed possible. Okay, they are there. And they are still calm, which is absolutely beautiful. Now I do have the Leica Pro bow skill that allows me to shoot any of my bows from prone. Without this skill, the only bow you can actually use and take a shot from prone is the crossbow. Okay, we have a beauty shot right now on this big boy right here. Seeing as he doesn't know I'm here, maybe I should get even closer and try the recurve. Now I did park my dog. When you're gonna be doing a lot of bow hunting, you don't wanna take your dog with you because that is when you're getting very close to animals and well he isn't gonna help the hunt you don't need him there kind of shocked that they don't know I'm here yet okay this guy's attentive okay they're both attentive okay I'm gonna do it I believe I have the mid-range arrows in let me just check 540s and the 540s are good for four to seven okay that's it I'm gonna do it I'm zero to 40 all right here we go <laughs> I, I missed he's gonna run well, I took a female instead. I'm just not that good at the recurve. I don't know how it flew on top. Maybe because I was zeroed wrong. I don't know. Well, we did take an animal down. It just wasn't the one we were looking for. We did get a double lung on that shot. <laughs> kind of an epic fail, but we did take a white tail down. What are you gonna do? We'll chalk that up to learning. Okay, now it is time to take down a bighorn sheep and we do have a herd of them here drinking. And I have a beautiful, beautiful wind. Unfortunately, I do have a bunch of trees blocking them in. Now there are no collars for bighorns, so we just need to get close enough. Now, as far as stalking up to any animals, this is how I get close. Now I do usually prefer to have my eyes on the animal as I am going in, as watching their mood change definitely does help, but I usually walk up to around where I am right here, 160, 170 meters, and then I start to crouch. Now usually what I do is I will change stances as the animal starts to figure out that I'm here. So basically when it stops being calm, I am going to go prone and move the rest of my distance in right on the ground where they can't see me. But unfortunately right now, I can't see them. All right, unfortunately we're gonna have to go prone because I don't wanna take any chances. Bow hunting definitely takes a lot of pain. And okay, we do have a level three here, but I'm pretty sure there's a pretty nice level four in there And that is the one that I would love to take down with the bow. It's just when you're coming in prone It's really hard to see and there he is right there. He goes up to 153. So he's not a bad one Let's take him right now. All right, so I'm zero to 40 meters and splat, he is down. Look at that beautiful vital blood splatter. And we do have a gold 147.58, not a bad big horn. And that was a perfect shot with the compound bow. Okay, so we have found a really nice herd of muleys. Unfortunately, the big ones are right at the back. This is the biggest one right here. He goes up to 276 and he is a pretty nice one. But because of my wind, we're gonna have to come all the way around here and spook all these guys off until we get to the very last one. It's gonna be interesting. Here we go. Okay, so we have come around the corner and there they all are. They're pretty condensed, aren't they? And the big boy is right at the back. So we should 
start walking now. I love looking in and seeing all these antlers bobbing up and down. And there he is, right back there. Let's see how long it takes for them to figure out. Oh, 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 okay, maybe we should crouch. What time is it? They still got 30 minutes. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't be leaving. Don't be leaving. That's right, continue drinking. That would be perfect. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go prone. Sometimes they just walk off when they figure out that something's going on. And I'm a little concerned that that's happening. What the heck? Is there a bobcat here? Dude, you are killing me. Come on. I didn't spook him. There's no way. This was not me. Hey, well, how'd you like to come by me? You coming this way? Oh, he is coming this way. Not a very good chance I'm gonna get him. Or any of them. But can't believe if I even spotted him. There they go. Come right out onto the beach here, guys. Come on. No. You know what? Stop. Stop. That's the one. Oh, we spooked him, but good. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to try that again. Okay, so we are back and there's our big boy. So this time I'm gonna come in a little slower. I honestly don't think we spooked them because when they figure out that you're there, they can just walk right off. I've been seeing it happen quite a lot lately. Now he is the furthest back, but as long as he's right out in the open, we, we will be sitting pretty and I have him marked perfectly. This one's not too bad either. How far is he? Oh, he's coming in. I think I'm gonna go in prone. Now it's hard to see. Look at this. Now you can't even tell that they're here. And I am within range. I think I better slow down to the slowest creep possible. Yeah, this is bad. This is not good. I'm gonna stand for a sec. This is insane. Are they still there? I have no idea. Of course, there's a doe in the way. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. Okay, there's our buddy. How far is he? It's about 60 meters. Should we take it? Maybe we should just take it. I think we should. Get a wee bit closer. Okay, we're gonna let her fly. <laughs> I really hope we hit him. Move your noggin. Okay, here we go. Oh, did I get him? <clears throat> I hit him. I don't think I got a good shot. I don't know why. Are you kidding? Ugh. Oh, and I got killed. Great, great. I need to know what happened. Now I gotta go back there. Oh my gosh. There he is. Okay, I'm putting him out of his misery. Well, we got him. We got him. I don't know what kind of shot I got. Guess we'll find out. Okay, here is our beauty. Where's the arrow? I hit him in the ear? In the ear? What? What? Oh, he was only 43 meters. Why did he read as more like 60 to me? Well, we got him. Unfortunately, we did have to pull out the 308, but that was a beauty shot. We did get left lung and liver. So he is a 244. We still hit him with the bow. <laughs> We got a full score, so I'm gonna take it. I'm taking it. Man, this is not easy. Okay, we just got a warning thump. I was just approaching this zone, hoping we would find some bunny rabbits here. Now I do have the 300 grains loaded. Let's get an eyes on them because it's so thick in here. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Look at that. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes, and we got her. Antelope Jackrabbit is down. Beautiful, double lung shot. Look at that shot. Only 16.28 meters and there is a turkey around. We need to go find that turkey. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, we're getting a warning call. You're going in the right direction. Perfect, well maybe not. Oh yes, okay, here we go. Gonna zero down to 40. I'm taking it, here we go. And splat, we got him. And I'll take a second one as well. Anyone else? Maybe you? And we'll take a third one. Why not? <laughs> you guys need to figure out what's going on. And splat. There we go. Turkey number three. That was a 32 meter shot. Yes, turkeys have big hitboxes. This is our second female. Beautiful. Shoot her in the leg. All right, I'll take it. And our big male. How'd you like to be a diamond for me? No, no diamond for me, but we'll take it. Nonetheless, that was a lower neck shot, but that will definitely do it for turkeys. And that was a 46.41 meter shot. Absolutely delightful. And this is where we found them. Lots of hunting right out in this area. We have pheasants, turkeys, rabbits. They're actually uh, pronghorn and whitetail out here. Lots of hunting out here, right in the middle of the map. I just have to show you this. Look at this crazy sunset. 
I've never seen the sun look like that on a lake before. That is beautiful. Be even more beautiful if there were some bobcats out here. But man, the detail they put into this game is absolutely crazy. This is beautiful. Okay, we have some pronghorn out here that have not been spooked off by bobcats yet. They do drink at the same time. So let's see if we can get over there before bobcats spook them off. I guess the biggest we have over there are a couple of threes. That'll do just fine. Oh, there's a four. Now, if I come up on the left of him, we'll have a perfect win. Maybe we'll go for that one. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go in here blind, so I'm going to crouch right away. If only I could get eyes on this pronghorn, that would be delightful. Come on. We're about 80 meters out, and I can't see him. Is he gone? Only 47 meters out, and I don't see him. Are you kidding? There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. Okay. Yes. And he's calm. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's attentive. Okay. I think I'm just going to use the compound bow after all that time sneaking in. I'm not taking any chances. I can't see. Story of my life. Okay, just calm down, my buddy. Oh my gosh. He's going for a walk. No. Okay, I'm going to take him. Here we go. Yes! We got him. I had to take that shot fast. We got him. And those tracers are pretty sweet at night. Look how bright. Look at that shot. Beautiful. 83.12 is not a bad pronghorn. And we did manage a double lung shot from 37.11 meters. And that is pronghorn off the list. This is where we took the pronghorn right at Crab Claw Lake. Okay, we have a collared peccary right in front of us. And she certainly doesn't seem to know that we are there. So she's about 80 meters out. Guess I should go prone. Now females definitely are not as aware of what's going on around them as males are and you can definitely get closer to them without spooking them. Oh and they're all coming in. Oh we have a male here. Yes. All right we're going for him. He gonna die unless someone bigger comes in. Okay that should be good enough. He's just over 60 meters. Okay I'm taking it. If only I could highlight him that would be very helpful. Okay here I go. I think I got him. I think we splattered him. Oh, we certainly did. And let's see if we can take another one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't know what happened there, but I tried. I don't think I hit her. That's okay. Totally all right. <laughs> There's the flashing arrow and it's definitely not in her body, but it is in his. How you doing, my little buddy? Are you moving? Why are you moving? I'm not even... Oh, I'm gonna push him. I can push him? I didn't get a vital. I didn't get a vital? Can I not pick this up? What, what is happening here? <laughs> I think maybe this one's broken. All right, we'll use the recurve this time. Splat, that looked like a pretty vital shot. Can I pick him up now? Now I can. Okay, well, maybe that was a little bit of a cheater pants shot. <laughs> uh, he couldn't run away. Looks like he bugged out on us, but that is all right. We will take him nonetheless. And that is a collared peccary down. That was very weird, wasn't it? Just a little. And this lake is amazing for collared peccary. We call this Wolfhead Lake. Okay, that is a nice big coyote. It's even max weight. Now I think our wind is going to hold out. All right, we're going after them. Here we go. They are very, very tiny creatures. That is for sure. Okay, he just needs to stay right there. He's given us a perfect angle. Just perfect. Okay, still calm. We are getting very close now. And because they're such tiny creatures, you really have to be zeroed perfectly. And I'm just using the single pin sight. So I think I'm going to stand. I'm going to have to. Okay, here we go. He's attentive. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm zero to 60. No, don't move. No, I can't see. I'm gonna hit the dirt. Please, please don't, please don't leave. No, I can't see. No. Okay, there he is. Dude, how'd you like to turn for me? He's calm again. Okay, good man. That's right. No, I need a broadside. That's right. Come on back. No. Stinking hill. <laughs> Stinking hill. Now, as soon as I stand up, he goes attentive. I'm not gonna get a good shot. This is like impossible. Yeah, I know you know I'm here. Jeez, was that somebody else? Did he take off? He might have. No, he's there. He's there. Dude, you need to chill. Okay, he's calm. He's gonna try and take it. Here I go. Did I hit him? Probably not. <laughs> I didn't hit him. Oh, I'm gonna cry. No. I guess we're gonna try again. Okay, here we go again. He's there. Sitting pretty for us. Question is, is he gonna stay there? Man, they are such a pain in the neck to get with the bow. They're so tiny. And especially at night, you spot them, then you pull out your bow and the outline disappears and you can't pick it back up with your bow. And then you can't see anything. 
So now we go in blind and I can't see him. He's behind the hill and he's only 59 meters away, but I'd like to get to at least 40 because they're so tiny. I am going to scream with delight when he is down, if we can even get him. Okay, now it's getting really scary. We're very close. I wish he was broadside. He doesn't know I'm here either. Okay, here we go. Now he's gonna move. Of course he is. Oh my gosh, no, please don't do this to me. No. <laughs> Has alarmed, he's gonna run. Why, how does he know I'm here? Okay, calm back down. That's it, I'm taking it. I got him! Yeah! I hit him anyway. <laughs> That's gonna have to be good enough. He'll eventually die. Oh, I got final! Oh my gosh, did I? I did. I actually got him. I am so happy right now. You don't know how long that took me. <laughs> I'm not putting it all in the video because it would be like 45 minutes long, at least. Definitely the biggest victory of the day. Man, he was difficult. I can't believe how long we have to track him with a vital shot. There he is. And the bright side arrows are very handy at night. What the heck did I hit? I got right lung. Look at that. 42.7 meters. And that is a very, very big coyote. 53.53 and diamond is 56.87. So you need to come back bigger my dude and oh my gosh you were a gigantic pain in the neck but that is a very sweet victory this is where we got him at exclamation lake bottom left corner okay so we're approaching a pheasant feed zone now the chances of me actually shooting a pheasant with the bow while it's airborne are probably pretty close to zero percent i'm just not going to be able to do that if i could get an arrow into a pheasant even on the ground i would be elated but we are going to hunt them doesn't mean we're actually going to kill one i'm going to make an attempt okay we have a mating call they are here I don't have the bestest of winds. Is that a word? Bestest? <laughs> I don't have the best wind. I just like to get eyes on them. I don't see or hear any. This is not good. They must have vanished. Man. Oh, okay. There's one right there. I'm hitting the dirt. Oh, I have the worst wind possible. Okay, fleeing. Oh, I'm gonna take a shot. Don't expect much. Oh, you're gonna land right here. What the heck? Come on. <laughs> this is... Oh, I had a shot there. I tried. Yeah, no, I gave it my best shot. It's not gonna happen. Fly back this way. I think I see it on the ground. Do I? I don't know. Yes, I do. There it goes. There it goes. Come this way. No, don't go the other way. I'm just gonna follow them. I only have nine arrows left. That's bad. Well, I'm gonna wave a white flag. We definitely tried, but we were not successful with the pheasants. Okay, we have a very big bobcat. And what actually happened, I've actually been running around the map like an idiot looking for bobcats. They no longer drink from 17 to 20. I think probably with the last update, they changed their drink time from three to six. And the reason for that would be because their drink time used to overlap with pronghorn and hunting pronghorn in their drink time was near impossible because the bobcats were spooking them out constantly. So that is a really good change. I just would have liked to know about it. So we're gonna go after this mythical, see if we can take them down with the bow. Here we go. Now I think mythicals can actually make diamond. Okay, so diamond for bobcat is 27.68, so this guy is actually diamond potential. So that is very sweet. Very unlikely that he's gonna make it, but you never know, it is possible. But first I gotta get him down with a vital shot. And that's gonna be the tricky part. Now, if I don't get them on this run, I'm gonna go and drop a tripod. Look at this zone, three of them. Uh-oh, he's, he's alert. Oh, geez. Just gonna chill and wait for him to calm down. Easy, my dude. Everything's good. Let's see, he is less than 60 meters. Maybe I should just take it. Oh, I don't like it. I'd rather get closer. Is he gonna calm down? Come on, you can do it. He is holding tight, man. He's not calming down. Come on. Did it just say alarmed? Are you kidding? I can't even see. Oh my gosh. I'm taking it right now. Did I hit him? I hit him. He's running though. That's bad. Oh no. Well, <laughs> we got him. Oh, maybe I did get a good shot. I don't know. Mm, maybe non-vital. I don't see a big vital blood splatter. No. Well, yeah. No organs. <laughs> okay. Well, we did get him with the bow. Just not a good shot. That's unfortunate. How you doing, my dude? What do we hit on you? Really? 
Really? Well, at least he wasn't a diamond. We got him, just not a good shot. That is unfortunate. He was just five meters further than what I was zeroed for, and I thought I aimed up here. Guess I needed to aim a little higher, but that's the way it goes. Maybe we will get a bigger respawn. Click right here to see every species with the bow playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.